So you may notice on some screens that some people actually have this option to adjust the light in their scene and actually analyze their sculpt from different angles by seeing how the light flows across it. Often it can show up things that you wouldn't see normally um, and can be useful to have. What, the, what that is is actually from the light menu up here. Um, and you can see it up here, it's, it, it'll move, the two of these will move together. It's the exact same object that's basically being manipulated. The light is either turned on or off here. Um, so in order to get that onto the interface, all you have to do is go to your preferences menu and under config, which is the first option here, just turn on enable customize. I've actually got my enable customize and my store config, which helps save whatever you customize. I put them both onto my interface over here. So if I turn this on here, I can go back to my light menu and hold down control and alt and click on this and put it wherever I like on my interface. I've already got one over here. If I put another copy of it over here, you can see as I move around, they both update. So I don't need this one. If I want to get rid of it from my interface, I just, with enable customize still turned on, hold down control and alt and just drag it anywhere onto the canvas and that will remove it. I'll turn that off, store config then when you're happy with it. So that's it. Um, that's how you get the light onto your, onto your scene. One thing to note is that this doesn't work with matte cap materials because matte cap materials are not uh, affected by light. So if I change this to a matte cap material and then try and modify the light, you can see nothing happens. Um, I don't get any update on my screen. Uh, which one of the reasons I prefer to use the skin shade for material for this is because uh, I can actually then play around with the lights and see what I'm looking at a little bit clearer. Hope this tip helps yourself and as usual click like and subscribe and if you have any comments below or suggestions for tutorials you'd like to see please do let me know. Cheers, bye.